Okay, in this video, we want to discuss how to find the volume of revolution. So, in this problem, we have a region bounded by the graph of y equals x cubed, which is the yellow one, the x axis, which is the blue one, and the line x equals 2, which is the orange one. So the region bounded by that three graphs is the following. And now we want to rotate this region about the x-axis. Okay. Now to understand this better, we take a slice of the region so we slice vertically and then imagine that we rotate that wide slice around the x-axis. Then we will get the following object. Now, to understand what is the volume of the resulted object after we revolve this region about the x-axis, we need to understand how to compute the volume of this small object. Basically, this is a cylinder, and we know that the volume of the cylinder is the area times the thickness. The area or the base of the cylinder is a circle of radius. So if this is x, then the radius here is x cubed. Okay. So then the volume of this small object, let's call it dv, and see this, the thickness is dx, will be the area of the circle pi radius the radius is x cubed so pi r squared multiply by dx okay so the small volume is equal to the equals pi x to the sixth dx now imagine that we have this kind of slices starting from x equal to 0 up to x equal to 2. So it means that we want to add the resulted object when we rotate each of these slices. So therefore the volume is the integral from 0 to 2 of that expression. So pi x to the sixth dx. And now we integrate this integral of x to the sixth is x to the seven over seven. And then we evaluate at two and at zero. So plug in x equal two, two to the seven is 128 I guess we have 128 pi over 7 so that's the volume that we get okay next problem is we still have the same region bounded by x cubed the x axis and the line x equals 2. But now we want to rotate, want to revolve the region about the y-axis. Okay, So let's try first, we slice the region vertically like what we did before. Okay, And suppose we have this slice of distance x from the axis of rotation. 
Okay. Now imagine that we rotate, we revolve this small rectangle about the y-axis. Now what kind of object do we get? We have this kind of cylindrical shell. And this dx correspond to the thickness of this cylindrical shell. Okay, so that will be dx. Now again, similar to what we did before, we try to understand how to compute the volume of this. So imagine that if we slice this cylinder, let's say we cut like this, and then we open it up, we have this kind of slab. Let me use another green color. Okay. And the length of this slab correspond to the circumference of this circle on the base. So the length of this will be 2 pi times the radius. And what is the radius? So remember that the radius of this cylinder is exactly the distance from, so remember that this, is, this will be the y-axis here. So that's the y-axis. So the radius of this circle will be the distance from the y-axis to the rectangle, which is given by x. Okay. So it means that the length of this slab will be 2 pi x, and then the height is exactly x cubed because the height of the point of distance x from the y-axis is exactly x cubed here. Okay, so this is x cubed. So then the volume of this object will be two pi x. Let's write over here. 2 pi x times the height, x cubed, and then multiply by the thickness. And the thickness is given by that dx. And imagine that for each slice that we perform here, we have this kind of object. For x starting from 0 up to x equals 2. So basically, we're adding up this kind of expression starting from x equals 0 up to x equals 2. Now, the process of adding up all these small cylindrical shells is by using integral. So the volume itself will be integral, let me write somewhere here, the volume will be integral from 0 to 2 of that expression. 2 pi x times x cubed times dx. Let's compute this. Integral from 0 to 2, 2 pi x to the fourth dx. The antiderivative of x to the fourth is x to the fifth over 5. And we keep the constant 2 pi in front of it. And then we plug in x equal 2 and x equal 0. So if we substitute x equal 2, we have 64 pi 
over 5. Okay. So that's the answer. Okay, let's we continue. We still have the same problem, but now we want to view this problem differently. Okay, so before we slice this region vertically, now we try to slice this region horizontally. So let's take one slice. One slice of it. So let's use a stronger color. Let's do this red one. Okay. So we have that slice of distance y from the x-axis okay and now again imagine that we rotate this rectangle about the y-axis and what do we get we have something like this so that's kind of rectangle that we have and then we rotate that guy about this axis So we have something like this, the image of that, and we rotate to get this kind of shape. Okay. Uh, let me try to redraw that. So we have something like this. And the rectangle lies over here, somewhere here. Something like that. Okay. So now again we try to understand what is the volume of this object. And as we can see, this is a washer. So to find the volume of this, we can what we can do is first we compute the volume of that disk and then minus the volume of the inner disk okay so basically the volume of the outer disk minus the volume of the inner disk well it's not disk the volume of the outer cylinder minus the volume of the inner cylinder so to find the volume of the outer cylinder we need to know the outer radius which is the distance from the center to the far end of the cylinder okay now over here we can see that that yellow brace is exactly the distance from that point to the the orange line x equal 2 so the outer radius is 2 now what is the inner radius the inner radius is exactly the distance from that point to the left end of the rectangle. So we need to know if we have a point of height y, what is the, the width of this? So we need to express this curve in terms of x equals something. So if we solve for x, we have x equals y to the one third. Okay. So then the distance here will be y to the one third. So the inner radius is y to the one third. Okay. Now the volume of the outer cylinder will be pi outer radius squared times the thickness. And the volume of the inner radius will be pi inner radius squared times dy. 
So if we simplify that, we have pi 4 minus y to the 2 third dy. Next, we need to find this intersection point by setting y equals x cubed equals, I mean, by just putting x equal 2. So we have y equals 8 here. So now we imagine that we have this kind of washer starting from y equals 2. So if we slice horizontally, we have lots of rectangles here. And for each rectangle, we rotate around the y-axis to get this kind of shape, this kind of object, and the volume of this object is exactly this expression. And then we want to add all of these objects starting from y equals 0 up to y equals 8. So we need to use integral. So the volume of the whole thing will be integral from 0 to 8 of that kind of expression pi 4 minus y to the 2 third dy. Let's compute that and compare to our previous result. So this is equal to pi 4y. Now integral of this will be, so we need to raise the exponent by 1, 2 third plus 3 third is 5 third. Then we need to multiply by 3 fifth. And then we evaluate at 8 and at 0. So we have pi 32 minus 8 to the 1 third is 2, 2 to the 2 fifth is 32. So it will be 3 times 32 over 5. And then if we plug in 0, everything will be 0. So let's simplify more. It'll be pi. So this is basically it's like uh, 5 over 5. We can write this 32 as 5 times 32 over 5. So 5 over 5 minus 3 over 5 is 2 fifth. So 2 fifth times 32 which gives us the same result 64 pi over 5 okay so both methods give us the same result 64 pi over 5 okay that's all for now thank you for watching see you next time bye bye